so what is finite automata it is actually a simple idealized machine used to recognize patterns with input taken from some character set it is a mathematical model of a system with discrete input output state and set of transitions from state to state we will have a look uh, at the classification of finite automata so finite automata is broadly divided into uh, two categories the first one being finite automata with output and the second one is finite automata without output so finite automata with output uh, we again have two categories mur machine and mili machine and in finite automata without output we have three categories uh, deterministic finite automata or dfa non deterministic finite automata or nfa and epsilon uh, non deterministic finite automata or epsilon nfa now in this presentation we uh, we will mainly focus on epsilon uh, non deterministic automata or epsilon nfa let's uh, try to understand what is epsilon nfa uh now in case of epsilon nfa this symbol epsilon is used to represent empty symbol or null symbol now uh, epsilon nfa is the nfa which uh, contains null mu conversation conversation of epsilon nfa to uh, nfa nfa stands for non deterministic non deterministic finite automata and epsilon nfa stands for uh, epsilon non deterministic finite automata as we know if sadden nfa is the nfa which consists of uh, null moves or if sadden moves nfa is represented by five tuples uh, q sigma uh, del q not and f q is the set of all states sigma is the inputs and del is the transition function that del is q into sigma to to the power q moves it means that uh, any state uh, getting any input uh, moves to 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 the power q state in that nfa and f is the final state uh, now let us have a brief overview of finite automata uh, uh, in the next slide we will see what is finite automata it is actually a simple idealized machine used to recognize patterns with uh, input taken from some uh, character set it is a mathematical model of a system with discrete inputs output states and set of transitions from state to state in this slide we are going to see the classification of finite automata finite automata also known as finite state machine is divided into two broad categories the first one being finite automata with output as uh, deterministic finite automata or dfa and non deterministic finite automata or nfa and epsilon non deterministic finite automata or epsilon nfa now in this presentation we will be mainly focusing on epsilon non deterministic automata or epsilon nfa let's uh, try to understand what is epsilon nfa so uh, epsilon nfa this symbol epsilon is used to present uh, empty symbol or null mode so epsilon nfa is the nfa which contains null moves linguistic finite automata as we know nfa consists of uh, the uh, empty symbol or uh, null uh, moves and nfa is represented uh, formally by uh, five tuples q sigma del q not and f q is the set of all state sigma is the inputs del is the transition function that del is q into sigma to 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 the power q moves this means that on getting uh, on getting any input uh, the state moves to uh, any of to to the power q moves in the uh, in, in that nfa q not is the initial or starting state and f is the final state in epsilon nfa Uh, all the five tuples are same, but only del is the trans uh, transition function, which is little different. Here, del is q into sigma union epsilon, which means uh, uh, on getting input, it, on getting a particular input, uh, the state moves to to the power q states or no states. 
uh, union if silent means on getting in, uh, input man or uh, if silent it moves to the state it uh, moves to man state so this is the difference between uh, nfa and if silent nfa so let's now see the conversion of if silent nfa to nfa first we have to find out the if silent closure then uh, the delta transition can be obtained the delta transition we mean a uh, silent closure on the news now we have to then repeat the step two for each input symbol and each state of a uh, given nfa uh, using the resultant uh, states the transition table for for equivalent nfa without a uh, silent can be given so uh, let's now see an example uh, example so here is the diagram we have uh, four state a b c and d so first we have to find the if silent closure so uh, if silent closure of a if silent closure is nothing the uh, is nothing the states that can be reached from a particular state only by uh, seeing the if silent symbols so if silent closure of a is uh, a b and d and if silent closure of b is b and b since on get uh, b on getting if silent uh, move, uh, symbol get moves to b and d itself uh, if silent closure of c is c and if silent closure of d is d now in step 2 we will find the delta transition of each in input symbols and repeat step 2 for each input symbols and each state of given nfa so starting with input 0 Uh, so state a on getting uh, input zero we have to find it so uh, on it, so on state a we, uh, first we have to find the epsilon closure of a which is a b and d so a on getting input zero goes to a itself and epsilon closure of a is a b and d and on getting in, uh, b on getting input uh, zero goes to c and its epsilon closure is c and b on getting input zero goes to d and its if silent closure is d so uh, a on getting input uh, zero uh, moves to a b c and d states and now for b state b uh, the if silent closure is b and d and on getting input uh, zero uh, c it goes to c and d and now uh, the if silent closure of c and d is c and d so now for state c Uh, if silent closure of c is c and on getting input uh, zero c goes to nowhere so we can write it as phi and if silent closure of phi is phi and now on its for state d d on get the if silent closure of d is d and input zero on getting input zero d goes to d and if silent closure of d is d so now we will do the similar uh, similar steps for uh, input uh, one so state a is if silent closure is a b and d so a on getting input 1 uh, goes to nowhere so phi uh, and if silent closure of phi is phi and b on getting uh, input 1 goes to phi, uh, nowhere so phi and phi if silent closure is phi and d on getting input 1 goes to d and uh, if silent closure of d is d and b on getting input and now for b the if silent closure of b is b and d So B on getting uh, input uh, one goes to nowhere. So phi, if silent closure of phi is phi, and uh, D on getting input one goes to D, and if silent closure of D is D. So now for state B C, so uh, C on getting uh, C is if silent closure is C, and uh, getting input one it goes to D. So if silent closure of B is B and D, and uh, now for state D. So, uh, if silent closure of state D is D, and on getting input one, it goes to D, and if silent closure of D is D. So now, uh, using the st resultant states, we will build the transition table for equivalent NFA without if silent. So, uh, before from from before tables, we can find the uh, states where A, B, C, D goes. State A on getting input zero goes to A, B, C, D. And on getting input one goes to D. B on getting input uh, zero goes to C and D. And on getting input one goes to D. C on getting input zero goes nowhere. And uh, C on getting input one goes to B and D. And D on getting input zero goes to D. And uh, on getting input one it also goes to D. 
so uh, state a b and d becomes the final state as if cell enclosure of a and b and d contain the final state d so the state transition diagram of the equivalent nfa is this one we can see this we uh, form this diagram by the state and transition table so here is another example of conversion of epsilon nfa uh, to nfa uh, uh, we have an epsilon nfa here uh, given here uh, we can uh, see that epsilon symbol are used uh, proving that it is an epsilon nfa and there are three stages p q and r where uh, p is the initial state and r is the final state and there are three input symbols a b and c and uh, we will and we will convert this epsilon nfa to its uh, equivalent nfa for that uh, we will uh, uh, first uh, we will have to obtain the epsilon closure of all the three states which will uh, which will help us later in the process so the epsilon closure of p p on epsilon can go to p itself and it can also go to r and also it can go to q that means uh, p on epsilon closure can go to p q and r similarly the epsilon closure of q is q and the epsilon closure of r is r uh, going to the next slide uh, we will see the delta transition on getting each input symbol we will uh, at first we will see the delta transition on getting input a uh, so uh, let's start with uh, the first state p as uh, we saw earlier p epsilon closure are p q and r so p on getting input a uh, goes to epsilon closure will be p q and r and the last one we will uh, and the last one will be phi so the final states uh, we got here are p q and r so let's do the same thing for uh, state q q epsilon closure is q and q on getting a goes to p and the epsilon closure of p is p q and r the final state is p q and r so q on getting a goes to p q and r similarly uh, r on getting a goes to nowhere that means we will put phi over here and phi on getting epsilon goes nowhere so we uh, so here also we will put phi c delta transition on getting b and c so p is epsilon closure is p q and r and p on getting b goes to q and the epsilon closure input b goes to nowhere so we will put phi on both the places now for state q q epsilon closure is q and q on getting input b goes to r and r epsilon closure is r now for state r r epsilon closure is r and r on getting input b goes to nowhere so we will put phi on both the places similarly we will fill the table for table for delta transition on getting input c now moving on to the next slide uh, we will build the transition table using the resultant states from the previous three delta transition tables the final state we uh, got when p was getting an input a where p q and r and p on getting input b goes to q and r and p on getting input c uh, goes to p q and r similarly we will fill this transition table for q and r on getting input signal a b and c from uh, the diagram as we saw if silent closure of p and r contain the final state r p and r became the new final states now from the transition table we will draw the final transition diagram which is the equivalent nfa of the given epsilon nfa so here we would like to conclude our presentation thank you very good presentation